one amazing person watching this video. If you're new to my channel, hi, my name's Anne. If you're not new, hi, welcome back. Today, guys, I am going to be giving you guys a list of my top eight apps, like time passing games and really fun addicting games, and also some like brain games for your phones of 2020. So let's get into this. First game that I'm going to be showing you guys is Sudoku. If you don't know what Sudoku is, it is a type of puzzle where you have to get the numbers one through nine into the grid box without having two of the same numbers in the same like grid space. It's really fun to play and I like to play about one or two games in the morning right when I wake up just to get that like flow of knowledge and I usually play about one game before I go to bed. It's a really fun like brain game and challenge in my opinion. You can also adjust the difficulty so if it starts getting too easy for you, you can work that up. Also, if you don't want to have to download the app, you can just go to the website and play it from there too. You can just save the website to your home screen and play it like that and it's pretty much the exact same thing as the app. This next one is a childhood favorite of mine. It is an oldie but a goodie. This is Papa's Freezeria. There are so many different versions of this game, like I know there's a burgeria, a sushiria, just whatever type of food that you want to base it around, there's probably a game for it. So for this game, you pretty much run your own, like I think milkshake place, I'm pretty sure they're milkshakes, but you just run your own restaurant <coughs> and you just take their orders make their drinks and you try to get them out as fast as possible while still getting a good score and you just take people's orders and each person has a very different order and so you kind of have to customize how you do things to get them put out the quickest while getting multiple drinks out and still getting a good review on it. This next game is called Draw Climber. Draw Climber is a racing game where you race against other people and I'm pretty sure it's a computer half of the time. But you can change your legs in the race to customize them to the different obstacles that you're going to have to face. Pretty much all you do is draw your lines in the small box. You can see here that I had to change my legs because I couldn't get up the wall. So it's all about finding the most efficient legs to get over the obstacles and sometimes under the obstacles along with being able to be faster than your opponent. This next one is an oldie but a goodie, it's Paper I.O. So you can change your character and get all sorts of these little fun people to play as. And then the game is pretty much all about getting bigger and bigger and bigger while trying to not get yourself killed by the other people playing. So this game is literally probably the best time passer I have ever played just because the game is endless. So there's not really a winning prize to it. It's just see how long you can last and try to get more and more of the map a part of you. I don't really know how to say that. This game is so incredibly popular right now, but it is also so fun and so addicting. So this is the Animal Crossing Pocket Camp. It's pretty much like any other Animal Crossing game, just instead of a town that you're running, you are running a campground. So you can like talk to all the different animals and you can get them little things. I don't think there's ever been anything for me not to do on this game, so it's very time consuming, which is great about it because you can just play it without end. So you pretty much run this camp and you have to get all the different animals on your island and area like to come to your camp and you can go around the area. I don't know if it's like an island or if it's just like a country or a state. I don't really know what it is. But um, you just kind of travel around and you can meet people and do missions and unlock different areas to do things in. And it is honestly so much fun. Here I'm just like decorating my 
place and putting in some things that way some other animals will come because sometimes you have to change up the place to make it so your animals will come hang out with you but it's pretty fun and yeah this next one is another one of those puzzle games so this is brain 3d it's a very fun like brain game and has a lot of very interesting yet sometimes pretty childish and pretty stupid puzzles it's a very addicting and very good time passing game it's like this this isn't something that i want to be playing i don't want to wipe up poop um so it can be a little childish but it does feel nice just to have those accomplishments to do 60 puzzles in three minutes and just do these tiny little puzzles that sometimes just make you feel good so it's not entirely bad that it's like a little childish sometimes but it can be pretty funny and fun this next one definitely had its fair share of popularity so this one is best fiends it's pretty much a puzzle game like candy crush sort of type of game where you just kind of fight off these big hairy slug thingies with these adorable little creatures that you can play as um this game is a great time passer it is pretty addicting and it's just really fun you can power up your characters and depending on what color gems there are is what different character you use it's really fun and it's actually gotten pretty hard i think i'm on level like 34 and it has gotten pretty darn hard well guys thank you so much for watching this video if you guys enjoyed this go ahead and hit that like button i will be very happy to do some more videos like this one go ahead and hit that subscribe button if you guys want to see more content like this one and go ahead and comment down below what videos you guys want to see from me and i'll see you guys in the next video peace